this of uh, BCBP is the breakfast, and we hope to see you in one of our breakfasts here in Makati. It's held every Wednesday at the Makati Sports Club uh, at 7 o'clock. And then uh, we have a mission in Rockwell in the Metro Club uh, every first and third Saturdays. Second and fourth. Thank you. Thank you. Second and fourth Saturdays of the month. Another activity of BCBP is this activity like this. The Brotherhood of uh, Christian Life Program. It embarks on a mission of evangelization. BCBP conducts what they call action group meetings where we group into a uh, fewer number of uh, members so we can focus more uh, between uh, the members. BCBP regularly conducts assemblies and teachings As part of its mission to create that environment where uh, we live uh, Christ fully. We have weekend retreats. As a matter of fact, uh, I think uh, we, the members of BCPT Makati, will go on a retreat this Saturday. We do that uh, regularly among our members. We do fellowships because BCPT is composed of many, many chapters all over the country. So there are activities of BCBP where everybody, the entire membership, holds an annual meeting uh, to fellowship with one another. BCBP is a fun activity and a fun organization. So we do family funding. While business being businessmen and professionals, we bring our families once in a while where we have funding. Because we believe that the Christian life is not something that is individualistic, but we commune with one another as we join our, our fellowship with the Lord Jesus Christ. We do missions like uh, medical mission. That's part of the activities of BCDP. Let me share with you this another video of BCDP. Thank you. 
and businessmen and professionals aims to achieve its mission through a process of ongoing personal conversion, a commitment to professional excellence, community, and nation building, integrity, and personal care for those entrusted to them through the core values of love for God, love for community and country, and commitment to the Lord's work.
Then we have life in the Holy Spirit. Module 3, living a spirit-filled Christian life. There is what we call the baptism of the Holy Spirit. If you are Roman Catholic, we do the sacramental baptism in the beginning when we are born. Uh, this is a different kind of baptism. This is the outpouring of the Holy Spirit in us. We spear the Holy Spirit. It's an, uh, one session we will do in module 3. Growing in the Spirit. How do we mature as we live in the life of the Holy Spirit? Then we have brother of way of life, introducing uh, how it is to be in the brotherhood. Then we have the BCDP way of life. How do BCDP members pray? How do they tackle their spiritual gifts? How do they discover the spiritual gifts? The BCPP way of life values, uh, the way we communicate with others verbally and in writing, so we have a topic on speech and wrongdoing. We do have a discussion on the guidelines for business dealings between BCPP members. We regard this as very important because uh, BCPP members are businessmen, so we deal with one another whether we like it or not, because we see each other every week. It is best that we have guidelines uh, to follow when we deal with each other. Christian is money. How a Christian, what is the proper attitude of a Christian towards his money? Submission to authority is an important aspect of BCDP. There is an established authority which we believe is uh, implored by God. And we learn the value of submitting to an authority. And then commitment time. This is just a reminder that we are not priests because these members are married. Most of them. We are not theologians here, meaning uh, we do not necessarily have a very, very deep uh, or we do not have undergone, we have not undergone a deep study in theology. We are not preachers, we are ordinary businessmen, not holier than God. But we just share the love and the grace of Jesus Christ that we experience in every day. That is what we, we share in sessions like this. In CLB, there is what we call mini teachings. We learn praising and raising of hands and how to vocalize prayers. Say our prayers loudly. Format of the BCDP, I mean the BCLP. First, we arrive, we register, and we have a brief fellowship. We'll do a song and a prayer. And then the meat of the session is a talk by an invited speaker. Then we do the discussion. Because experience tells us that uh, the attention span may not be that very long, so we do a table discussion so that we will enhance what the speaker has discussed during the, during the talk. And then we do group fellowship. This is what will happen uh, each and every session of this program. So, as we said in the beginning, what are the expectations and the challenges? Number one, uh, in this affair, uh, we just request you to have an open heart and an open mind to have that proper disposition. Do not prejudge me. Uh, as you attend the session, uh, do not make a judgment on the first or second nights, uh, or the first and second session. Um, we ask you to, as a matter of fact, we would like to request you to attend the first four sessions of uh, the BCFP so that you will have a better understanding and that will, I hope, enable you to decide properly whether this uh, activity is something for you. We ask and request our participants to have an active role in the discussion because we need your insights too uh, as to your reactions to the topic and the 
subjects that are discussed by our speaker. And be assured that having an active role, God will work in your life as you join this session. Well, the role of the participant, we ask you to attend, of course, uh, the session. Uh, we will strive to start uh, at 7 o'clock in the evening so that we can be pumped also in going home at 9 o'clock. We hope that uh, in this and the succeeding sessions of BCLP, you will regard this uh, activities as a special time to seek God, perhaps intensify our prayers, read the scriptures, and if we do this, we have an expectation that the Lord will show His love for us in many, many ways. So, as I said, uh, after four weeks, it's a good time for you to decide uh, whether to continue or not. So, four sessions means the first module. Uh, we earnestly request that you attend the first four sessions of module number one. Who is Jesus Christ? What is God like? The power of the Holy Spirit and repentance and faith. That's my orientation. We now proceed to the main session for tonight's activity. We all attended Mass last Sunday. Did we recall the, the Gospel? Jesus was asking the Gospel read last Sunday. They were walking to, on the way to Philippi and Capernaum. And while they were walking, he asked his friends and disciples, Who do those people say that I am? And the disciples said, Well, they say you're John the Baptist. Others say you're Elijah, you're a prophet. And he turned to Peter and said, Mr. Peter, who do you say that I am? And what a profound answer Peter said, uh, you are the Christ. In other versions of the Bible, it says, you are the Messiah. So, perhaps it's a good way to switch tonight to ask you individually, who do you say is Jesus is? Who to you is Jesus Christ? And that will be expounded by our speaker for tonight. The first law. On the topic, who is Jesus Christ? Let me introduce our speaker on this topic. His name, our speaker, is Lucas Doi Luna. Lucas, named after one of the disciples of Jesus Christ, Luke. So Jesus will ask Luke tonight, who is Jesus Christ? Who do you say that I am? Very fascinating talk for tonight. Lucas Doy, I will call him Doy Nalana. He likes to be called Doy. He's a lawyer, uh, a retired one, uh, because he operates and runs a resort in Panglao, uh, the Amarela. We, Doy and I, are from Panglao, so I know his resort. He belongs to BCBP Tagbilaba North. No, I know Tagbilaba only has north and south. Di ba doi? Split. Split. Tutu. Wala pang east and west. North and south. It's not east. It's not east. East and west. North, south, east, west. Mayroon na. I am not updated. He took his CMP like this in Alaba. He was also a member of Quezon City, uh, BCBP. He's been in BCBP for 26 years now. And he has rendered services in BCBP as a unit leader. Uh, being a lawyer, he's the corporate secretary of this organization, the BCBP, uh, BCBP National. He is husband to Ludici Nuna, Nuna, who is also a retired lawyer who previously worked in the Supreme Court. He is father to Joseph, Xavier, and Bianca. It is my honor to and, uh, bring to your speaker tonight, Doi Luna. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 